The colorectal and pelvic health program comprises four different specialties within the hospital. We have pediatric surgery, pediatric urology, pediatric and adolescent gynecology, as well as gastroenterology. Within the program, we see a number of different diagnoses. The most common diagnoses we see is imperfect anus, uh, patients with Hirschsprung's disease, patients with cloacal anomalies, as well as patients that have idiopathic colonic dysmotility. These disorders involve kind of a difference in development of the urethra, sometimes the bladder, uh, the vagina, sometimes even the cervix and the uterus, and then also the, the anus, the rectum, and other parts of the intestine. One of these complex anomalies, even though they may be categorized as a, as a same type of condition, they're all very unique in their variants of some of the anatomy and functionality. As a medical subspecialist, uh, we use different sets of tools to help our patients, different ones than what the surgeons have. But I think for each individual patient, it's, it starts off as a little bit of a mystery and we have to unpack it. We have to understand what the problems are first and then understand, does this patient need a surgical solution? Does this patient need medications? Or sometimes both. With any of these congenital anomalies, they're not very common. But here within our program, we're seeing more and more of these patients. It's a spectrum of disorders, and so no single case is necessarily treated exactly the same. All services come together, and it's probably really the epitome of teamwork. You put several heads together for a complex problem, and you do so much more for a patient. Even after a successful surgical treatment, sometimes there's still work to be done to help the patient fully achieve their potential in terms of bowel function and overall quality of life. The bowel management program is designed specifically for kids who are having an inability to control when stool stays inside and when it needs to leave the body. It's a complex interplay between muscles and nerves and hormones as well as the brain, and we're interested in trying to help kids better through better understanding how their bodies work. Bladder and bowel incontinence has a extreme negative impact on the self-esteem of any child. The fact that we can have an impact in altering uh, that uh, is extremely rewarding. We've been taking care of these patients uh, for years, but what this program's done is it's really brought the multidisciplinary component into the care of these patients. The collaboration that occurs between not only the team members but also with patients and families really works and I think patients and parents should feel confident bringing their kids here because the care they will receive is truly comprehensive. If I had a child faced with this condition I would be looking for a team like this.